I'm not moving very well, McBride. <laughs> Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 152. Where we watch them so you don't have to. That's right. I don't know why I point at them when I say we. And this week we watched Everyone Must Die. Woo! In 2012, not rated, 71 minutes long. Yeah. Directed by... Directed by Steve Radzinski. Yeah, starring Steve Radzinski. Uh, has Ben Deedles in it. Woohoo! Uh, and then also starring Nick LaMancha. Don't know who that was. No, he was the kind of the lead, I think. None of them were the lead. <laughs> so what was this about? Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that you were going to ask me what the movie was about. I was not prepared. <laughs> I kind of had a hard time following it. Mm. There was a, a killer, or killers, as we find out, mm -hmm. who are traveling from town to town and killing a lot of people in a 24-hour period. So they'd be in a town... I think they said, like, the one town they killed 23 people in 24 hours. Right. So, what did we like about this one? Okay, I gotta start off. I really like the character of MC Pink, the gay rapper. <laughs> right. Because, so, they don't give any indication at first. He's just, like, a white thug, you know, wants to be a rap star. Yeah, I mean, picture that. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing like that, but picture that. Right. Um... He reminded yo, yo, yo. me of uh, Jason Mewes a lot. Yeah, I can see a, a that. lot of Jason Mewes. Uh, I really like that whole section of the movie was really funny. Right, it was really really funny and well shot. It was. Yeah, that's that's the thing about um, it was competently shot for being any movie. It looks pretty good. Yeah, you know, quality wise, whatever camera they you know. Um, eh, hey, you don't see that with some early indie movies. You, you can tell from watching this that Radzinski really does have an eye for movies. Oh, for he sure. knows how to shoot a movie. Yeah. And I think the big things that burden him with this, we'll get into this into the dislikes, but I think the big things that burden him on this movie were the people he was working with. Yeah. Some of the cast, some of the crew was where the issues were. But you can tell he knows what he's doing. Right. You know, the makeup effects in this from the gore, and the, there wasn't a ton of kills or gore, but there were some, you know, uh, but a good chunk of it was off screen. And, you know, again, budget, indie stuff, a lot of that comes with that. But what we do see, there's there's some, you know, like stabbings in the neck, machetes, mm. you know, being stabbed in through stomach. That's yeah, pretty, pretty good, yeah. you know, for what it is. I don't know. I yeah, like I, it. I thought they were all, they were all believable. How about that? Yeah. yeah. Like, none of it seemed like... Over the top. Yeah, or, yeah. Or unrealistic, I mean, yeah. You know, there's one scene where the guy got stabbed in the stomach with a machete, or the girl, whoever it was. And blood flew out over the porch on the table below. Oh, oh yeah, that, was, that cool. was a cool scene. Little things like that. That was a really yeah. cool touch. We pointed this out in Carousel. I'm going to point it out again. Steve Radzinski makes a great actor. He's funny. Yeah, he was, again, probably the best part of this he, movie. He was one of the highlights to this movie. Yeah, he's Every funny. scene that he was in, I, 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 it just made me so happy. And Ben Deedles, too. Deedles was in it. Yeah. And he was good, too. I would like to see more. Very short. But, a cameo, basically. But, yeah. But his stuff was really good, too. And I don't even think he said a line, though. You know, I don't remember now I that think I think about did. it. It was pretty brief. He cut somebody up <coughs> with a lawnmower. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think his line was... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I like some of the music and the score he used. Yeah. There wasn't a ton, but some of the score was kind of a... Uh, the opening theme kind of sounded like Jaws played backwards. <laughs> right, like backward Jaws. It was like gums. Um. <laughs> I think it'd be Swag. Swag. <laughs> You're thinking upside down. Not true. <laughs> Look at my Swag. Oh, oh, I don't man. want to see your Swag. There was an abundance of boobies. Yeah, at least a I plethora. Think, I think three for sure. Well, they come in pairs, so there were. were well, girls. I mean, girls. What? Three girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> three girls, was, two cups. I think there was more than that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot. Yeah, but it was. <laughs> thank you, Steve Radzinski. <laughs> Adam Thayer is personally thanking you for that. Hey, I, I approve. Yeah, hey, you can't go wrong, <laughs> yeah. you know. Um, I like that pretty much everybody died. Yeah, every. I mean, uh, it's a bit of a spoiler, but. Pretty much everyone's dead by the end of the movie. Well, the title's called Everyone Must Die, and uh, they live up to that. Everyone must they, die. Everyone must die. It's kind of like John dies at the end. Right. He did, and then he came back. And then he came back. He got better. But yeah, I like, I like you know, there wasn't really a happy ending at all. No. 
No, this was not a happy ending movie. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. happy endings are great and all, but sometimes it's kind of nice to. And you know, kind of on that theme, there were multiple killers in the movie. Yeah, uh, there were at least three. Yeah, and there might have been more. Yeah. I feel like it's a cult or something. Is what it kind of feels. like. And I dig that. Yeah, I thought that was cool. Um, and I like that there was no, like you said, you think it's a cult. We don't know. Yeah. There was no explanation. And I really like that. I like that. And there's no motivation you for don't it. don't have to over-explain everything. No. But yeah, I totally like that. You know, yeah. that makes things scarier not knowing. It's like, you don't need to delve in all, oh, why the hell are they here? Why are they doing this? It doesn't matter. They're here killing us. Yes. Who gives a crap why they're there? I like that. So it's like werewolf movies. Why is he werewolf? Who cares? Why are there zombies? Who cares? Well, I kind of like to know why there's a werewolf and why there's zombies. Do you? Eh, I don't. I mean, I don't need to know all the specifics, but yeah. is it a virus? Well, you know, you know, but... Like, alien weaponry? That's one thing I like about The Walking Dead, is they don't explain why it happened. It's a virus. They explained it. Well, in, it's a... Yeah, but... Oh, yeah, I thought it was cool, the killer's get-up and the way it looked. Yeah. Pretty simple. It's costume. Yeah, the costume. It was... The, uh, it wasn't elaborate. There wasn't a lot to it. It was just a guy, uh, or numerous people, in, like, black suit with a black face. Yeah, not black face. That's something different. Right. A black hood. Yeah, black hood. Kind covering of. their face. I dug that. That's cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And, and the one and only time they show any of the killers, is and this was really cool, like, they kill one of the killers, and they unmask him, and they're all like... Who's that? No one knew who it was. And hey. I know I set it up front with MC Pink, but I really, really like the camping scene. Because they play it up like two girls, two guys, the you know, so there's two couples. They, that's how they play it the whole way through. Right. Until they're like, okay, we're going to bed. And then the two girls go to bed together and start getting it on. And the two guys go to bed together and start getting it on. I thought that was a cool way to twist the narrative up. Yeah. It's like, this is different. Yeah, it's not the, the norm. It, it's you like, know? here is the stereotypical, you know, teenagers camping in the woods. And we're going to give it just a little twist. And I like that. Right. And I really, really thought it was interesting. And yeah. it caught me off guard. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, and you were too. You were like, wait, what? Yeah. And then it goes straight into a lesbian scene. And yep. I love lesbians. And you know, it's not a girl twiddling the twigs and giggle berries. It's another dude. Yeah. We don't see it. No. But, yeah. No. You get the idea. There, there was enough female nudity. And there was a little bit of topless male nudity. Right. You know, for the ladies. Or, or the gay dudes. That's right. cool, too. Yeah, yeah exactly. there, there was a little bit there for everything. If you're a lesbian, you're going to love this movie, because there's a lot of movies. All right. All so, right. What, what wasn't so great about this? Or what, what did, now, again, like we say, uh, I feel like we say often on our show, is, you know, a lot of, with these movies, it comes from the budget and the indie aspect. Yep. Keep that in mind. Yep. So, you know, it's... Uh, it, 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 it. All right. So, I said earlier that I felt like Radzinski was kind of burdened with some less than adequate people. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm going to say right up front, the acting was really bad. <laughs> I mean, there, there were some good, there were, were some, some highlight moments, moments yeah, in there. Yeah, for sure. But, like, if you take Radzinski out of this movie, the acting was pretty bad across the board. Yeah. There were some noticeable sound issues. Uh, there's, a, yes. there's a handful of times where, it, like, it was like, I don't know, the, cut, uh, the sound would cut out. And it was just, like, complete silence. It felt like at times it was like an old Japanese movie where they'd be like, I like it. <coughs> it was like, what they say before that? Yes. And I feel like maybe that was edited on purpose that way. Maybe they thought, well, maybe we didn't need that first. I don't know. Well, and the, the thing is, and, and yeah, it was probably intentional. They were trying to cut out a line of dialogue, which is fine, but they still showed them talking. Yeah. So you would, crazy. <laughs> right. <laughs> That, yeah, the pacing, it, it was off and on. It was kind of slow at times. Yeah. Uh, I, I felt like some scenes dragged on for longer than they needed to be. And that the, there was a handful of filler spots. Yes. It, and part of that, it, the movie felt longer than it was, too. Well, yeah, it was only minutes. 71 minutes. That's just barely an hour. I always want more gore. You there's know some, he does. But more gore is always good. Yep. And, you know, there's off-screen stuff. And I, you know, I'm never a fan of that. But I get it. With this kind of, you know, movie. I Budget. get it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if we tried to make a movie right now, there'd be, like, nothing. 
and we'd be reviewing our own movie, and we'd be like, what the hell is this crap? We'd be like, this there's movie nothing sucks. on the screen. There's no gore, there's no boobs, this movie's horrible. Why oh, did you oh. make this piece of crap movie, Adam? We should have done this. People aren't oh. going to like you. Hit me in the nipple. <laughs> okay, there wasn't enough Ben Needles. Come on, Benny. Some of the jokes in the dialogue, and, and the dialogue yeah. kind of fell flat. Yeah, it was hit or miss. Like, there was some real funny stuff, and some of it was just like, mm. Yeah. A and <clears throat> we laughed quite a bit. Yeah. And most of the time we were laughing, it was intended for us to be laughing. Yeah. There were a few times where we were laughing at it. Right. With it. Yeah. But there were a few jokes there that we were just like, ah, this isn't, this isn't funny. Yeah. But hey, you, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of, I mean, really, I mean, it wasn't horrible by any means. Um, you know, it wasn't great either. Uh, it, but it's it, after watching Carousel before, and we love that one. I mean, I think we both gave that what seven out of eight or something. Very fun movie, and seeing kind of this his earlier work now, you can kind of see what he has improved on. Yes. in Carousel, you know what kind of corrected and what got better. You know, I like this. There was a lot of room for improvement, but we've seen the improvement, so you know that's cool. Um, I'll give it a four and a half out of eight. I think for an early indie work. For you know, for a director, this this isn't anything to be ashamed of. This oh, was a no. very very good early effort. Yeah. Four and a half out of eight, I think, is that's pretty good. And, and half of that was just that there were a lot of boobies. <laughs> right. There were a lot of boobies. Adam likes. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much with it. Again, I think third week in a row, I'm just a little bit lower than you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going with four out of eight. You know, which is very middle of the ground, especially considering what it is. I think that's pretty fair. Huh. Um, you know, there, there was some issues, flaws, but hey, it was still... Dude, it was better than Leaf Blower Massacre too. Yeah, yeah, right. And, it, you know, it was mildly fun at times, and it's watchable. And, and I'm going to I'm gonna cause controversy here, and I'll say I enjoyed... I won't say this was better, but I enjoyed this movie more than Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. Okay, I can see that. But uh, <laughs> but you like that movie a lot more I did more like that I movie, did. yeah. So... But hey, yeah, yeah, so four out of eight, you know, I kept hoping for the unicorn to show up and impale something that with That would have been fucking hilarious, yeah. Porn. <laughs> but yeah, so hey, I think it's a good and early effort, man. Yeah. And see that you improved, and I can't wait to see more of what you do. I get the shout out this week, and I want to give the shout out to um, two, two Girls, One Ghost. Ah. The podcast, Two Girls, okay. One Ghost. I've been listening, I've been binging through it, and through... A really long, weird chain of events. I, I just kind of stumbled into it. It's a great podcast. It's hilarious. All right. Well, so yeah, uh, you oh. know, if you want to check this movie out, everyone must die. Um, if you want, it's to check right it, here. It's right you here. can, <laughs> you, you can buy. It. It's on Amazon. Call Rob. Com. He'll let you borrow it. Right. Um, you, you can uh, same place you can get Carousel. Uh, that one, Silver Spotlight Films, is a resistance. Um, I don't know if it's a live label, whatever, but that's where you can buy all stuff. Um, check it out. And also, <coughs> for Ben Deedles, pick up his movie Slaughter Drive, available yes. on Amazon and BPO Films. And yes. That's your homework for the week. Buy two movies. Carousel, Slaughter Drive. Bring it out! Dude, otherwise, you can check us at... Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Or on Instagram at Stupid Movies. At The Horror Punk. At Dr. Sketch Turner. Stupid Movies at... Outlook.com. <laughs> so no emails. Come on, people. Come on. Somebody email Rob a picture of your butthole. <laughs> no, please don't. Just a close-up. We don't no. want to see the whole butt. Just the butthole. Just the butthole. Not the whole butt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Till next week. Yeah. Support any horror. Yeah. Go now. Onward, my friends. Get hard! And yeah. Brzezinski's like, <laughs> it, it's not gonna work if you yell at it! <laughs>